Hi, my name is here from Machine Learning Team, and today of my talk uh, is about large scale image stimuli research online. Uh, so, why are you here? So, if you want to know how to search by images and you want to develop a system, we can search similar images accurately and large in, uh, in fast and large scale, then hopefully, this talk might benefit you. So, I'd like to introduce the project members. Uh, first, the manager of the project, uh, Ueno AD, and my co worker, Kao Wen Jung, and finally, me here. So the talk is structured as follows. First, I'm going to introduce image similarity search problem, and then I briefly explain our, our methodology, and lastly, show use case. So first, image simil similarity search problem. Sorry. Uh, in this project, image uh, search means content-based image retrieval. So uh, given, given the image, uh, we want to retrieve the list of similar images by the content of the image itself, rather than the keywords or tag or description associated with the image. So basically, we just use the image itself. And the general system for uh, content-based image retrieval is shown in the figure. So first, images are represented as signatures and indexed to the database. Once the request for comes, uh, we obtain the signature from the request image, and then similar images will be retrieved using a comparator. So traditional approaches like use color, histogram, and texture, and sharp uh, as the features. Uh, the, the good thing about this approach is the idea is somewhat, somewhat uh, easy uh, and somewhat easy to implement, but the con of this approach is not so accurate. So currently, the SOTA state of that approach using uh, deep learning. And uh, they try to represent images by float MAD and retrieve similar images by, tech, uh, by ranking similarity score using a distant metric. Uh, the pro of this approach is the retrieval is accurate, but the cons of this approach is float MAD is computational expensive and memory inefficient. So when it comes to large scale, it's pretty slow. So our tools and approach is to represent images by binary core or hashing. So uh, the good thing is binary code is fast in computation and memory in friendly, but uh, they are also come with a trade-off of accuracy. So there are two goals of this project. First, we build a model with MBS image to, uh, into highly accurate binary codes. And secondly, using binary codes to build an effective search system. So this system design is shown in the figure. So first image will go through the binary embedding model to obtain the binary code representation representing the image. And then binary code will be passed to the binary code search system to obtain similar images. So the rest of the talk will focus on two things. First, binary model, binary embedding model. And the second thing is the binary code search system. So I move to the methodology part. Uh, so first of the, uh, of the methodology is about binary, code, uh, binary embedding model. So there are, two, there are many approaches for binary code learning. And I just list two of popular approaches used in neural networks. So the first approach, the binary code is done through similarity preserving manners. And the model using this approach try to minimize the distance between two similar images and maximize the distance between the two dissimilar images. And the second approach is classification oriented. So in this approach, the binary code is done through a classification model. So the model using this approach try to classify uh, the objects of interest and at the same time learning the image representation. So our approach is somewhat hybrid and we try to classify if a pair of images is similar or not and at the same time learning the image representation. So how are we going to do it? So in this slide, I'm going to introduce our binary, binary embedding model. The figures show our model architecture to learn the binary code. So the above part, uh, the, the part above the solid line show the training phase. And the part below the solid lines show the steps to obtain binary codes from the trend model called binarization space. So for training step, the model receives two images as input. And the two images will pass to a shared weighted connect to obtain image representation as embeddings. The embeddings will be then passed to the layer node. So layer node will normalize the embedding into zero center. So this step is important because we can simply obtain the binary code from this zero center embedding by using the side function. The two zero center embedding will, will be passed to the sub apps layer, where they will be subtracted each other and take the absolute value to get the embedded distance. And lastly, the distance will be passed to the fully connected layer to classify if the two images are similar or not. 
and we use the cross entropy loss function to optimize the model. After model has been trained, we obtain the value cost as follows. First, the image will be passed through the connect and layer node to obtain zero center embedding. And the binarization layer will be just a simply a side function. We transform the zero center embedding into the binary embedding. Then the binary embeddings just be used for the retrieval task. So that's basically our model for binary embedding learning. So after having the binary calls, the next part is about to search using binary calls. And in this slide, I will explain how binary calls are system implemented. The figure show the system architecture of the binary calls system. So it's important to note that even when the binary calls is fast in computation, it's very expensive to do a soft search using the binary calls given that the database includes like hundreds of millions of images or sometimes million images. Therefore, it's important to reduce the search space as much as we can. And we use approximate, approximate nearest neighbor search, ANN, for this purpose. So to repair for this, we cluster all the binary cost into cluster, and each cluster has a central. So the idea is simple. We downside the problem of searching a binary call to all binary clusters in the database into searching a binary code to all the centroids. So because the number of centroids are much smaller than the number of the binary codes, this search is better fast. Uh, we call this search centroids. So one important parameter is nprop, which is the number of closest centroids we want to retrieve. And you can simply understand this parameter just like the k parameter in the k nearest numbers. And after, have, after the search central step, the next step is easy. We just simply perform an exhaustive search in all of the closest cluster obtained from the previous step and return the list of similar images. So that's how binary cluster system works. So in the next slide, I'm going to show the use case of line. So we built the sticker search system on large scale. So as in the middle of 2020, we have a database of 10 million stickers packages with each package have from eight to 40 stickers. So it's approximately more than 300 million stickers to search on. So our developed sticker system has two power 17 centrals and the end prop parameter is set to be 1000. So our search time, it takes approximately 0.01 second per sticker search on a system of 20 GB CPUs and 256 gigabyte memory. So conclusions. So in this work, a large-scale image similarity search system has been developed, implemented at light, and the system only needs 0 0.01 second for each sticker search. Sorry, for each sticker search on the database of over 300 million stickers, and the system supports the sticker review process and saves up to three hours of review time for each review a day. That's the end of my talk. Thank you for listening.